Okay, so let's talk about density. So density is how compact something is. And things that are dense tend to be really heavy, right? And things that are not very dense tend to be light. Well, let's talk about water, for instance. This tub is filled with water. Water has a density of one, okay? It's relatively light, but also relatively heavy. So let's start putting some things into water and let's see if it will sink or float. All right, so I've got a glass marble. Let's see what will happen, put it in water. If it sinks, that means its density is greater than water. If it floats, that means its density is less than water. So here goes a marble, goes right to the bottom. And that's true because the density of a marble is around between two and three, um, two and three grams per cubic centimeter. Let's try a rock that I got out of my yard. Sink or float? It's pretty obvious, right? Yep, it sinks. Probably a density of around three. Okay, how about a candle? Sink or float? Well, let's see. It floats. And since it, it's relatively low on the water, I'm going to guess its density is around 0.6, maybe 0.65. Okay, so it's definitely less than water because it's floating. How about a golf ball? Okay, I got a golf ball, sink or float? Definitely sinks. I'm not sure the density of a golf ball, but it's definitely greater than one because that's the density of water. How about ping pong ball? Oh, everyone knows ping pong ball is pretty light. It's hollow, filled with air, has a thin plastic shell. Here we go. It floats, and not only that, but it floats really high in the water too. So it has a pretty low density, definitely less than one. Okay, let's get into some different things. How about this? I have a steel ball. Now this feels really heavy in my hand. I know that <laughs> it's gonna be pretty obvious what's gonna happen, Well, let's watch what happens. Oh my gosh. It falls fast and hard into the water. And that's because the density of iron is almost eight. It is probably seven to eight times denser than water, which makes total sense. Now, the only thing heavier than that that I have is lead. This is a lead fishing weight, and it's about the same size as that iron, but this is even heavier and denser than that um, iron or than that steel ball. So let's try this. Here goes. Oh my gosh, that was even more violent and it was even faster. So the density of lead is around 11 and it's about 11 times denser than water. So it's obvious why that happened. Okay, I've got two or I've got three other interesting things. How about this rock? Now this is a weird looking rock and it may surprise you. It has a very peculiar, um, oh, it has all these holes in it. So let's try this. Let's see what happens with this. And it floats. This is a type of rock that actually floats in water. This is called pumice. It is a volcanic rock and it actually has a lot of air bubbles trapped inside. So it's almost light like a sponge. And that's why it floats, because its density is less than that of water. So the density is less than one. I would guess the density is around 0.6. All right, another thing I have is I have this special wood. Now this is a chunk of wood. It feels really heavy in my hand. It's called iron wood. And the density of this is 1.39 grams per cubic centimeter. So what do you think, sink or float? Well, if you said sink, you are correct. It is a type of wood that sinks in water. And I have one last thing. I have a bag full of feathers right here. Um, you probably know that feathers are really lightweight and you would be correct. I mean, this feels like air, like I'm holding air. So what do you think, sink or float? I mean, it might be kind of obvious, right? Oh yeah, that floats, it floats way high on the water too. It's like barely sticking into the water.